When it comes to weddings, everyone wants to walk the aisle in style. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? I'm not nervous about that. I'm nervous because it just doesn't work. No. It's my wedding day. I want to have brand new shoes. But I want to have it. No way. The bouquet is supposed to be different for me. No freaking way. $500 for an hour? Come on. That doesn't make sense. It's very tiny, more tiny than this. I no! Weddings are good luck. Weddings are good timing. Weddings are in need of good financial planning. Meet Sean and Agnes, just married. Did they have the wedding they always wanted with a price tag to match? Let's look back at what they faced in the weeks leading up to their big day. My name is Agnes. I'm 34 years old, and I met my soulmate, Sean, four years ago. I've always dreamed of being a princess, and this is the story of my special day. Weddings and budgets, like Sean and Agnes, are an unshakable twosome. After all, there wasn't any compromising when it came to their budget. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on what our couple's big day cost. It's hard for me to describe the ceremony because um, that's where I was really nervous. I, I don't think I remember much. It's just uh, wedding after wedding, which I was kind of surprised. The ceremony may have felt like a revolving door, but big surprise, Agnes. That's what you get when your wedding hall was actually City Hall, and getting to the altar was more taxing than filling out your T4 forms. With only four weeks to go, it's lucky that wedding planner Cynthia Martin came on board. A consummate professional, Cynthia aimed to please, but was she ready for Sean and Agnes? And the mother. I try to look at really unique ideas or thinking outside of the box and making every couple's wedding truly unique. I didn't have too many expectations of Cynthia because I never dealt with uh, wedding planner before. No expectations, but plenty of demands and on a tight timeline. Do you have any thoughts at this point as to what you want your floral decor to look like for your wedding? Um, Kala lily. That's, that's my favorite flower. Okay. So. Kala lilies. I know it is a problem for my mom, oh, yeah. but I will definitely go with it. What about your meal? Are you thinking about having a full sit-down dinner, or do you want more of a food station or cocktail atmosphere for uh, your wedding? Definitely a meal. A sit-down meal? Yeah, okay, so a multi-course yeah. multi meal, okay. Do you want to have an open bar where your guests can sort of help themselves for the entire evening, or do you want to have a cash bar? Uh, definitely open bar. Open bar for the whole night? Okay. I've been much more active in planning the wedding. Um, I have been thinking of this day since I was little, so I guess uh, Sean is letting me to run it the way I want it. You know, I'm the one that's paying for this wedding, and uh, the way it seems right now is that Agnes just wants to spend, spend, spend. I do have a dress in mind, but I'm still looking for it. Okay. Uh, tuxedos, the same thing. Yeah, We're still looking. Okay. So you'll I'm wear a tuxedo? tuxedo. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are your thoughts on wedding cakes? Do you want to have a wedding cake? Is that something that's important to you? Uh, yes, it is. And, uh, I, but I don't want the traditional wedding cake. Okay. I want three layers, but totally separate. With the uh, photographer, we're going to do something different. We're going to buy disposable cameras and put it on each table. So the guests can take their own pictures. So you're not going to have a professional photographer come in and actually take formal shots? Um, no. Okay, so you're really looking to have someone take a little bit more of a candid style That's to your right. photographs, and you'll have friends that will handle that for you then. That's right. Okay. Is there money in the budget to hire someone if you did want to move ahead with that in the future? Um, no. No, not no, really. Not right now? Okay. Well, I'm really concerned. We've only got four weeks left to plan this wedding. There's 120 guests coming and an awful lot to do. Let's talk budget. How much do you have to work with for your wedding? Uh, budget? Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Okay. Coming up. It's a little big. Oh, it's that's nice. big. Oh. Peter's mother made a cake for us. 
And as I recall, we had a piece of it before we left for our other reception and left the family to enjoy the uh, meal. I don't think it had the little people on top of it. No, we didn't get little people. No. When it comes to spending money on a wedding, dreams can come true, especially if you keep a tight hold on your assets and expenditures. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on what our newlyweds, Agnes and Sean, spent to make their big day memorable. I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on the cake, um, especially knowing that not too many people actually eat the cake. But it turned out good. OK, Agnes, well, why don't you tell us what you specifically want for your wedding cake? OK. I do want three-layer cake that looks like gift boxes but separate. I don't want them on top of each other. Um, they just look cuter when they're totally separate. And um, I do want marble because it's vanilla and chocolate, so if somebody likes vanilla, they're gonna have a taste of vanilla. If somebody likes chocolate, they're gonna have a chocolate. There you go. I didn't try to convince Agnes to do anything more. I know that a lot of brides, when they're coming in, they have a lot of uh, financial restraints which is why I, I have a base price that includes a lot of variety. Okay, I know you really do want the marble flavor, but I have a lot of other flavors here for you to try, just to make sure that that's what you want to do. Oh, I like that one better. It's good, but I'm allergic to really strawberries. How is it? It's good. Mm. I still want my marble cake. <laughs> it's just... You can satisfy both, you know, the chocolate lovers and the vanilla lovers. There you go. Found the dress I wanted exactly how I picture it, but it was size 14. Getting the dress uh, from size 14 to 4, it's a big challenge. But the alterations cost me four times more, so th that was a little bit shocking. Yeah, it was a $900 dress, and because we like to clear samples off before they get wrecked, it's only $150. Whoa, yeah. jackpot. <laughs> wow, 85% off. Don't stand too close to an open flame, Agnes. That's a little big. Oh, that's, but that's nice. big. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, Agnes, yeah. beautiful. No, yeah. yep. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, that's gonna be I'd cry too if I needed a dress taken in five sizes. Huh? Cry for joy, that is. If the dress doesn't fit, first I'm gonna start crying. Then I'm gonna start screaming, and then I'm gonna be very miserable bright for the rest of the day. Wow. Yeah. Look at oh you. My God. Look See? at you. That is bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So we're going to mark that today, and we're going to put your sleeves and just check, check this pattern. Oh, this is cute. In there. Look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty. Very, it very looks pretty. completely different dress. Yeah, when different. you yeah, you look amazing. Oh it looks goodness, nice. Oh, my Gigi. So that earrings, yeah. you're going to have that earrings? Yes. So I have to have something here for you. I don't want anything here want because anything. I have already... Very tiny, more tiny Mamushi. than this. I s no. Wow. Look oh, at yeah. that. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're nice like a snow here. princess, eh? I am a princess. <laughs> snow princess. Caps are so oh, much fun. Of course we have to take this. Oh, yeah. It yes. feels so fancy. Uh -huh. You may be a snow <laughs> princess, but do you have a royal budget? Okay, Cynthia suggested that we should hire a professional photographer. So the price that she quoted us uh, for was $500 for one hour. No freaking way, $500 for an hour? Come on, that doesn't make sense. Shoes and a purse, which is gonna cost approximately between $150 and $200. You're killing me here, like seriously. It's my wedding day. I want to have brand new shoes. I deserve a brand new shoes. If you give up the cake, the cape, the shoes, and the purse, I'll give you the photographer. No way. No, no, well, no. We can't I'm not giving up my cake, or the cape, or the shoes, or the purse. Yeah, we have cameras on the table. That's fine. I'm not happy with it. I think the food was really good at the wedding. Yeah, I was happy with it. The first time we, we saw the banquet hall, it was actually on a website, and uh, we were definitely... Impressed. Impressed. Yeah. 
Yeah. So once hors d'oeuvres have been completed, um, we moved into the dinner. Is that going to be a plated dinner or is that served buffet it style? Be, no, it will be a plated dinner. Okay. And how many courses and what are the courses? Well, we usually start off with the choices, which uh, that is for our English to choose. It's uh, soup or pasta. Okay. And following that, we're going, we're having the um, salad, and then it's the main course, which comes with potatoes and vegetables. And after that, we will have the dessert, and again, uh, Agnes has to make a choice what she likes for dessert. We are going with the four-course meal. Uh, Sean didn't want to spend any more money, and I'm hoping that uh, this will be enough food for our guests. Now, your wedding cake, is that being served for dessert, or is that something that you'd like cut and served with the sweet table later on? Probably sweet table. Okay. Something like that, it will be $12 per person, and it puts your taxes and your services. Okay. And we usually serve uh, cocktail pastries, fresh fruit and cakes, and of course, coffee and tea. And uh, we take the cake away and we serve it right along with it. Okay. I think Agnes and Sean will get good bang for their buck. I think that the pricing that they've been given is, is pretty competitive, and I think they get a lot for what they've been quoted. So I think that they're going to have an amazing wedding. I think it's going to be a beautiful room and uh, great food. If my mom would know that I'm shopping for Kala Lilies right now, she would probably kill me. I love Kala Lilies, and I do really want them. Yeah. They're beautiful, they're, they're just, uh, they're gorgeous. Well, originally I wanted Kala Lily um, on my wedding, and I guess the bouquet and everything, but uh, my mother refused it. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're looking for in terms of flowers in your decor? I would like to have Kala Lily. Okay. But <laughs> she's definitely against it. I am from Poland, and my culture, Kali for us is just flower for the uh, dead people. <laughs> uh, Funerals. Not, yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's not the flower for the wedding. But I don't agree with it. I don't think it is a bad luck. It is bad luck for everybody who is getting married and have Kali. You understand? It's really bad luck. Agnes is getting married, it's her wedding day, so she should be able to have any flower that she likes. So I think Diane maybe should step back and let Agnes have her way on this issue. I ask you to not do it. Whatever you wish, is your wish. That's but not fair. I am not asking fair. you That's not, not fair. It's mm -hmm. superstition exactly. and she doesn't want to cast any bad energy exactly. on your day. This is an all orchid bouquet and it would have leaves and hanging and a, a draping kind of grass filling, spilling out of it. Hit white or hit you don't like it? I don't like it. I'm sorry? <laughs> no, she's, okay. she's just asked me if I like the flower. I said no. Why can't you just change your mind? Uh, Agnes, I told you it's not for me. It's, it's just for you. What kind of budget are we working with? Probably between $500 and up. Did she just say 500 and up? Flowers may be bad luck after all when Sean gets that bill. I'm willing to come to a compromise with my mom. Um, I don't want her to be unhappy. As well, I just want the wedding to just go perfectly. Coming up. I'm nervous because it just doesn't work. No, she, you know what? She shouldn't have used plastic. That's okay. Yeah, she uses plastic. She shouldn't. Well, the dress, actually, I think I paid about $300 for that dress. That was half price. That was a really good price. You know, that's the first time I've ever heard the price of that dress. Well, I've always lied to him about the price of my clothes. <laughs> No matter your budget, weddings are a pricey proposition. And although Agnes and Sean were holding tight to their bottom line, the costs were still adding up. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on exactly what Agnes spent to feel like a nice, I mean, snow princess. It was important to me that Sean stayed the night before the wedding at home with me because um, I was afraid he might go a little bit further than he's supposed to. You know, girls, partying. I was afraid that he's just gonna go wild. It's tradition not to see the bride the night before, so she was breaking tradition. That's bad luck. Whatever. Speaking of luck, it was amazing that within four weeks, the venue had been booked 
the cake ordered, and the dress had been cut down to size. On a Saturday morning when I got up, I was fine. It's like another day, pretty much. It hasn't hit me yet that that day I was getting married. It was exciting because I had to do my hair and makeup. Oh, Agnes, how quickly you forget. So let me be of some assistance and refresh your memory. Mom, yeah, zip it. Okay, zip yeah, the dress. Zip, zip the zip dress. Okay. I zip you. Why not? I don't understand. Uh, over there you have. Oh yeah, you have it here too. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to hold on both sides. To do it. Oh, is it? It's not. It's too loose. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, this one is to go not low. It's supposed to go higher. Up, higher. Yeah. Good times. Yes, Mamunia, just do it. She's so nervous. I don't know what. Good. Every bride should. I'm not nervous about that. I'm nervous because it just doesn't work. No. Looks like Agnes wasn't the only one having wardrobe problems. Oh, you're nuts. No way. Hell, uh, you had the bag open earlier, didn't you? No, not really. In there? Oh, you're kidding me. Call Martin, ask him if he's got oh, the best man. in his bag. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, Jesus, it's right here. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, man, you're freaking killing me. <laughs> Somebody's not stressed, are they? No, no. Okay, need any help with that? Agnes just couldn't win when it came to her flowers. I'm surprised with the bouquet because I it's thought it's going to be different. I really thought it's different. Mine's supposed to be very simple. It's supposed but to be... Why you don't like it? No, I, I didn't say I don't like it. It's just remember, we, the bouquet is supposed to be different for me. It's nice, I like it. It's just I wasn't expecting no, so many colors. Yeah, it's supposed to be only two or three colors. Oh, she this? added totally different flowers. There are totally different flowers than I've seen it then before. Then you choose it. Yeah. yeah. I wish we stick to the flowers that I picked. Coming up. I think we should have got a maybe a photographer. <laughs> we should have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe the pictures will come out right and they were insulting the people that took the pictures. We had lots of speeches, of course, mm -hmm. which were utterly boring. Except <laughs> mine. When you stand before the justice of the peace, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter what the budget, is it ever big enough? <laughs> Soon, we'll reveal what it took Agnes and Sean to make their love official. It's hard for me to describe the ceremony because um, um, that's where I was really nervous. Um, we were squeezing each other's hands. So. Yeah, um, literally, I thought I'm gonna pass out. I start shaking um, as soon as I start walking. Marriage is 100%, 100%. To be my wedded wife. I, Agnes, take Tishon to have and to hold from this day forward. I, I don't think I remember much, except for one thing, the pen didn't work. <laughs> yeah, pen didn't work. Yeah, pen didn't work. Anybody has a pen? Oh, sorry. Try again. Okay. Let's do it. Only Deshaun and Agnes would that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Our alternative to professional photographer was to get a few friends to take pictures and uh, leave cameras on. Disposable cameras. On, on every table. table, yeah. That's right. Why bother wasting your money on one photographer when you could have a hundred? The first time I saw the, uh, the banquet hall, the way it was decorated. Wow. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, wow. It was amazing. I mean, I think the hall, like the reception hall, are absolutely nice, absolutely amazing. The food was good, and uh, everyone could really kind of have some drinks, relax, have a good time. I think we should have got a maybe a photographer. <laughs> we should have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very well. The but not to, uh, maybe, maybe the pictures will come out right and they were insulting the people that took the pictures. The wedding was short and simple. The reception was just up the stairs. But uh-oh, check please. Let's hope the Snow Princess didn't make her prince a pauper. The budget that we handed Cynthia was? $20,000. The cake was delicious and it all in cost $225.
The flowers were nice, uh, but I can't believe they cost $1,020. My dress was beautiful, and uh, with the alteration, it cost $672. I'm really glad that we had Cynthia to help. Her fee was $2,000. The hall was beautiful, and the reception cost us $8,200. Extra costs like the tuxedo, the, the car, um, guest uh, favors, cost $4,234. We ended up spending um, about $16,351. Oh. <laughs> well, we still did good. We came out um, um, $3,649 under budget, so we did good. The couple is thrilled. The budget is under. Their expectations have been more than met. The only question left, was film developing in the budget? We didn't have anybody we didn't like. We just had only what we wanted. And I would do exactly the same thing again. And I'd marry him again, too. We were engaged for three years. Um, three years out of that, I think your parents disapproved, right? Well, he, uh, my, my parents didn't think anybody was good enough.